Balancing a boiled egg nestling within a bone china egg cup set upon a small bone china plate with a spoon clamped between the thumb and finger, blue marley bone pattern in one hand and a mug of tea in the other, rhubarb shouldered his way out into the garden. It was a lovely morning. At the first stroke of spoon upon egg, rhubarb's highly tuned ears picked up the most sensitive notes of the tango. Bit early, he thought. However, rhubarb being rhubarb, he mulled on and dug deeper into the egg and came up with an idea. Dancing! Yes, everyone can dance, surely. So dancing it is, rhubarb chirped. And as the last distant notes of the tango danced away on the morning breeze, rhubarb decided. A grand dancing competition will be held during the afternoon. <laughs> All acceptable dance styles welcome. And that, happy dancers, means... You can expect the jig, the fling, the samba, the hip-hop, country, jiving, twisting, rock and roll, and general shimmying. Pre-shuffle nibbles, slap-up feast, après tango, monster prize, I thank you. <laughs> Sawing, hammering, and out-of-tune big band whistling wafted from the shed for the rest of the morning. Rhubarb was building a revolving dance floor. It was his own creation. From the choice of well-sprung timber, right down to the very last step, the merest dust of dance floor chalk. The jewel in Rhubarb's revolving dance floor design was the mirror-studded ball. It would remain static while dancers revolved beneath its brilliantly sparkling diamonds of reflected light. A unique Rhubarb concept. Right on time and in time with a quick step, Post dog rapped on Rhubarb's shed door. Several shifty looking weasels hovered in his wake, ready to haul the dance floor into position for the launch. <laughs> ah, post dog most punctual, beamed Rhubarb, and the grubby hauliers shifted the dance floor plank by plank. Mesdames, Messieurs, let the dancing begin. Rhubarb's bark echoed across the garden, and the grand dance competition began in full swing. Several of the birds sat in line, ready to judge. Their scorecards, their cut du punct, lay in neat pecking order on the table in front of them. Custard huffed and puffed, but Rhubarb carried on. The first dance will be a foxtrot, he announced, as Raymond and his partner Brenda stepped onto the dance floor with judges hot on their heels. Bubble one. Here we go then, lovey, for the monster prize, eh? Wixie, Wixie, you're cool grim fox, local scoundrel. Catra <laughs> <laughs> sank. Dur sank. Sank sank. The silence that followed was as thick as treacle. Shoulders were shrugged and questions were asked. Nobody had a clue what that was all about. Not even the birds who'd done the judging. And that's the way it was as more dancers shuffled their way onto Rhubarb's patented dance floor for the next step of the procedures, so as to say. The music invaded, the dance floor set off again. Enough of this, darling, decided Poodle Princess. Me too, agreed Moggy Malone, and they marched right up to Rhubarb's shed and waltzed in without knocking. Oh, yes, said Rhubarb. Don't blame Mouse. After a short break, Rhubarb announced that due to a small technical fault that has now been forgiven, uh, repaired, so let's enjoy. Rhubarb was waffling when the loudspeakers crackled and rock and roll started and drowned him out. Surprise. A magnificent set of spanners, 100 in all, Rhubarb announced proudly, then dished up an ear-splitting stretch, followed by some tinny old waltz music. 
The artistic effort for the prize seemed at first like a tie between Moggy Malone and Rookie and Poodle Princess and Custard. But when they heard what the monster prize was, that's when Custard started his weird spanner dance. And that's when the dance floor started playing up once more. And that's why Custard finally won the prize. As Mouse's amplified squeak was heard over the loudspeaker, the dance floor changed gear and the music followed. Within seconds, dancers on the outer edges went to fly off, while those in the middle simply went dizzy. In a rare act of incentive, Custard sprang into action, grabbed the prize bag of spanners, and threw the whole lot into the works. The dance floor stopped. Everyone took a tumble. And so, without further ado, with this mangled spanner from the works, I pronounce Custard as outright competition winner and hero, beamed Rhubarb, and everyone cheered. Shall we? How about making the crystal ball revolve? Suggested Mouse. We could try it. Whiz, the home of ABCs, 1, 2, 3s, and all your favourite kids' TV characters. Now let's find kids' TV. Or I can press this microphone. Whiz, that's how easy it is. <laughs> <laughs>